Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we will be doing Samsung Smart Switch here at the end of 2023. And we're also gonna be doing a test to see which way is faster of transferring all of your content, either doing it wirelessly or with the cable and if it saves you time. Now I've actually always done it wirelessly. I've never used the cable to transfer everything over, at least in my personal life. And I don't even think I've done it here on YouTube either. So I'm just gonna make a prediction. I do think that the cable is a little bit faster. I believe if you have a ton of content, you're probably gonna save 20 or 30 minutes, but that's like hundreds of gigabytes. I think if you're not transferring that much, you might be saving maybe five or 10 minutes. So that's just a prediction. So where you're able to go through and transfer everything so maybe you're doing this after the fact or maybe you're doing this by yourself or maybe you don't need to transfer the entire phone maybe there is just a few photos or a album that you would like to share with somebody or a family member or with another one of your phones you don't have to use it if you get a brand new device you can use samsung smart switch just simply to transfer content so where you go to get this done is once you go inside of the settings we're going to go down you want to go to accounts and backup and then once you find the accounts and backup, underneath the smart switch category, you just go right here, bring data from old device, bring data from old device. This one right here, we will be sending, and then this one will be receiving. Now on the receiving end, you just wanna choose where is it coming from? So I'm just gonna choose Galaxy since that's where it is. Uh, this over here, this is the old phone where we're transferring all of the data from. So we're gonna see how long it says for the cable. Uh, and then you just choose again, cable. So when you're in this screen here, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you plug in the old phone first. Then what you want to do is you want to plug in your new phone. And sometimes it does actually make a difference on what is plugged in first. Sometimes if you plug in, you know, the older device, sometimes it actually doesn't do it. So here we go. It is now going to, you know, uh, search for everything that's going to be able to be transferred. So it's actually going through everything on this phone, the messages. It's going to look at my wallpapers, pretty much how my home screens are set up. It's going to go through literally every single thing. So with the cable plugged in, this one says one hour and six minutes, and that is to transfer over 145 gigs. So what I want to do now is I actually want to unplug this and I want to see how long it says for everything. So remember it's one hour, six minutes. So right there again, one hour, six minutes minutes. Let's see what it'll say this time. If I was the this time choose wireless, which is actually the way that I've actually always done it. And let's see if I've even saved time or not. And if I did or didn't save time, how much, you know, how much faster could I have done it with the cable? So here we go. We have the accounts and backup scrolling down. We have accounts and backup again, bring data from old device. This one over here, we're sending, this one is receiving. We're taking it from a Galaxy phone. We're gonna go wirelessly. And so it's gonna kind of send a little bit of a little sound between the two phones. So if you hear a little buzzing noise, that's pretty much the connection. And then you wanna hit on allow. And you can actually go through the settings on the screen before this and actually enter in uh, a pin. So this way, you know, not everybody can just find it if you're in the same store or household. And so you can actually make it to where there's a pin that has to be written or typed in on this phone over here if you like to have it a little bit more secure. So if we transfer everything over, which is 145 gigs, uh, it will be taking right around one hour and 30 minutes. So it looks as if this one will be saving you about 24 minutes if you use the cable, if you're transferring something right around 145 gigs, and they're pretty accurate with this one. If anything, it's actually give or take about two minutes. So yeah, you will be saving about 24, 25, 26 minutes if you use a cable. So just in case if you didn't know already, all of these devices along with the Galaxy Tab S9 is officially launched and you're able to buy now. So if you've been waiting for maybe the phones to be out for just a little bit of time, maybe we're waiting for some additional deals, maybe you're waiting for additional paychecks to come on in, what you're able to get right now when it comes down to the Galaxy Z Fold 5 is you're able to get up to 1000 off with a eligible trade-in and you'll also be able to get a free memory upgrade on select models. Plus if you're a student, you get an additional 15% off and then also too when it comes down to the 
Galaxy Z Flip 5. What you're able to get is up to $600 off with eligible trade-in. And if you're a student, you get an additional 10% off. And then for the Galaxy Watch 6 or Watch 6 Classic, you're able to get up to $250 off with eligible trade-in. And again, if you're a student, you get a additional 15% off. So if any of that sounds good to you, make sure you guys click on those links below the video inside the description. They are exclusive Samsung links. They'll take you directly over in the Samsung to get these deals. All right, so all I did was I went right back inside of Samsung Smart Switch. I chose the option for cable just because I wanted to get this one done a little bit quicker, but I'm not gonna transfer every single thing over. Sometimes when I start a new phone, I like to start fresh. So there will be some things I will be transferring over, but not everything. Again, this is the perfect prime example of where you don't have to use Samsung Smart Switch you know, if you're transferring to a brand new phone. Maybe you have a family member that you would like to share an entire album with, you can just do it this way. So you can do everything, and you can see one hour, six minutes, rather than the one hour, 30 minutes. Uh, you can do only your accounts, calls, contacts, and messages. This is gonna take about a minute, or you can actually do it uh, custom. So we're gonna go through. We're gonna hit on next. So this is where you're able to see what you would like to transfer over and basically bring over. So I do want to bring over my Google accounts. So that's gonna take right around a minute. Uh, my calls and contacts, and, and then when it comes down to messages, you can actually tap on it and you don't have to send everything over. You can just do everything in the last 30 days. So I'm gonna do the last 30 days. So it looks as if we have three things selected right around a minute so far. And then when it comes into apps, you can transfer over the apps, but you know, again, you're gonna to have to go inside the Play Store and you probably have to go through and accept a few of these as well. Galaxy wearable, I wanna have some of my Galaxy wearable information moved over as well for settings and you can actually go inside of here and you can choose what settings you would like to move over. So you have phone settings, app settings, you have Wi-Fi connections, your Bluetooth connections. So there's a whole bunch of stuff. So when you hit on this arrow, you're, you're able to see a lot of, you know, pretty much everything that's gonna be moving over. For your home screen, you're able to move over the widget layout and app layout if apps is also selected. In some cases, Samsung apps from your old home screen might be replaced by their Google equivalents. Samsung Dex settings is moving over and then lock and home screen wallpapers applied to cover screen. So I'm gonna leave this one alone just because I'm gonna go through and, and select how I want my phone to look on the cover screen and on the inner screen. And then when it comes down to images, videos, I don't really need audio. I do want some of my documents and files. Now, when it comes down to images, what you're able to do is you can choose which of these you would like to move over. So if there are particular albums that you really don't need, you can actually just deselect them. And then even inside each of these, you're able to choose, you know, if there is particular images that you would like to come or not come over. So pretty cool. I'm gonna go through this very top up here really fast to choose what I do want to move over. So now that I have selected, I did bring down just a little bit of it. Then we're gonna go inside of videos and you're pretty much able to do the exact same thing. So if there's some of these that you know you don't really need to move on over, you don't have to have every single thing moved over. So I'm gonna delete uh, you know some of these albums to bring over. And then with that, it looks as if we have about 128 gigabytes selected so far, taking about 59 minutes. And so now all I'm gonna do from here is hit on transfer. So this is where it's pretty fun that you know you are able to select what you want to move over. So when you think about it, if you wanted to just transfer over either wirelessly or via a cable, a entire album of maybe a vacation or whatever the case to another family member, you can actually use this if you want. Other than that, then you would just use the nearby share options. Uh, but you know, this one, you know, definitely works, you know, its own way very, very fast. Now you can also transfer over your secure folder, which is pretty cool. So if anything is in this phone, which is something that is new with Samsung Smart Switch over the years, um, basically what you can do is transfer stuff from your secure folder into your newer phone, which is pretty cool because in the past, I knew a lot of people who had things inside secure folder and completely lost it. Now, once you place pretty much everything in, which I just had to put in the code for my phone, uh, there was a little bit inside of my secure folder to move over. So it added in just a little bit more time. So this one is gonna take right around one hour and seven minutes when it comes down to the cable. So this right here is still pretty accurate. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this the way it is and then come on back when it is finished. 
So I'm actually right now wanting to show you where we are with the progress. I'm actually just editing the video currently. I'm actually almost completely done and I wanted to show you how long it took for everything to transfer over. So you can see right now it's actually organizing all of the transfer data. So as I mentioned from before, it's going to take a little while for everything to get in order chronologically of every single thing. So right now it's at 9.36 p.m. When I started this, when I hit on the start transfer button, it was 8.56 p.m., which means that it's taken right around 40 to 41 minutes for everything to transfer over, which is much quicker than what it originally stated, which was one hour and seven minutes. So again, as a reminder, this transferred over 100 and actually a little over 128 gigs. I believe I had about two gigs in my secure folder. So it actually transferred right around 130 gigabytes of, of content, of storage, of everything. And it took 40 minutes via the cable. So I wanted to show you where we were. This is where you can actually just basically hit on done. You can take a look at the home screen and, and look at everything, but this is where everything is going to be organizing and just basically putting everything in order again, inside of your gallery, inside of your call history. And also same thing with all of your messages in each, you know, conversation individually, chronologically of everything that you have brought over. And I brought over about 30 days worth. So this one actually transferred over much quicker than what it originally stated, unless if it is kind of trying to put a little bit of this in there too with that time frame, which then will make it maybe a little bit closer, but not much because this is going pretty quick when it goes down through the organizing. So this is something that you can do at home. This is something you can do at the store and it just kind of depends on how much you are transferring over. So just remember again, when we were using it via the cable, it would take right around one hour and six minutes, as you can see. And then when it was wirelessly, it was gonna take an hour and 30 minutes, which this would probably be more or less like an hour and 32 minutes with the addition of the uh, secure folder. But this is everything I wanted to show off. You can see which one is faster and by how long, also how you can fully customize what you are sending over. And also too, you don't have to use it only when you are switching phones. You can do it by sharing a bunch of data with another one of your friends or family. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. You don't need to stick around. Everything is going to move over and I just have to look at it and that's pretty much about it. But if you guys appreciated this video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.